Ah! Uh, why are we on camera on a gaming show to tell you that our new channel, youtube.com slash the grumps, is coming out? It's a comedy channel where we're on camera doing the funnies. 10 minute power hour is gonna be over there now. And also new shows. So check it out at http colon slash backslash. No, forward slash. Forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash the grumps. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we'll see you there! Huzzah! What could be easier? <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> okay, easy. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Boo, comma, if you haven't left yet, can we make it 345? Question mark. Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Welcome back, yeah, everybody. We're back, goo. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be grumpity time. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. You, you had to get it out. Okay, fantastic. Oh. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? No. Really? No. Just nobody could have. I want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to Studio One in that time. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer came- Wait. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. By the monkey. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way. Mrs.? Yeah, someone said Mr. Monkey. That's, that's still you. At around 2.15, I'm just trying to think, it was D. Vasquez who said Mr. Monkey. Yeah, Marcus. it was, yeah. for sure. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked. By Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Um, it's actually Mr. Monkey, but oh. Edgeworth has a point. Okay, cool. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. OBJECTION! It's Mr. Monkey! <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. What? It's over? Goo. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, is it, all, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid we would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. What? Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Oh, the kid. Oh boy. Order! I will have order! I see. <laughs> From Jersey Mike's. Please, don't tell me. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Shtabam! <laughs> <laughs> so says my gavel. Clock! Clockity clack! <laughs> hear the clock! When you hear the clock, that means order! <laughs> Oh. Mm. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. But M Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. You don't know how to cross-examine people. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, um er, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. Uh, relax, murderer. <laughs> Bart, uh. <laughs> they think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. Be a murderer. You're the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... you... thanks. 
Okay, Phoenix, let's get this killer off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for the kids. Let's do it. This one's for the kitty. The kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Is Maya, like, screaming on the inside of her body, like, GET IT BACK! <laughs> <laughs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackens to the stand. Cool. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a milk crate. One of those donut crates should do. A donut crate? Weird. A donut crate? I guess so. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Apple box? Yeah. Boots with the fur. Name yourself! Witness! What? What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Murph. Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady! I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. Wow, you're a little pisher. Yeah. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth? Please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Murph. Witness. I mean, Cody. Where did you hide the body? He's having trouble being this gentle thing, being with this gentle thing. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, the incident. You got a problem with that? Maybe please tell us what you saw that away from him. Yeah, please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you in Gramps with the beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. A very long day. Incidentally. Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. M -m -f no, well, we can't undraw it off of him. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. You better bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like the special permission, if that's possible. We asked the writers to justify the fact that we only drew so many frames for this character. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? No. Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the court record. A new digital camera! Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. <laughs> Cody's camera in the court. <laughs> Very well, Cody. Please testify- TESTIFY to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I say testify. Mm. Mm. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods of, off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Mm. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. Where I came out by the studio there was a Steel Samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Mm. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. He always has his camera on him. Yeah, he just said. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Just grab him by the collar. What did you do with the murder weapon? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Did you put the camera on? Stop yelling at me! Yeah. All right. <laughs> Press this little bastard. Alright, I'm pressing him on the camera thing. Mm-hmm. Of course I didn't have my camera on me. Yeah, that blue. was the part that struck me as weird, too. Yeah. Okay, 30 minutes. Steel Samurai, Totally Rocks, of course Steel Samurai took him down. If I had my camera with me. Mm-hmm. You always have your camera. Cody! What you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Also, it was 30 seconds ago. Oh! <laughs> I'm melting! Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you? 
Uh oh, was I putting on the pressure too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? Ah, uh, I see. A camera. Like when you put <laughs> your head under the hood and put the light up, and then it's got that accordion thing, and you click the thing, and it takes a picture in 1895. <laughs> and the powder goes, BUFF! <laughs> anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... <laughs> Mr. Wright. Shut the fuck up for a second. How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so. It's not a poor child. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What you... What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? You heard me, you fucking- <laughs> Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I have my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? Hell yeah, I think they do. Yeah, I think they got a problem. So you did have a camera. You lying sack of shit. <laughs> and did you use this camera? <laughs> Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Uh, mm. Oh, apparently you've never lived in 2019. But yeah, maybe you just had the- Very well, please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. He he said he might have the camera running. Oh. Yeah, even though he wasn't using it. Yeah, my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules! Yeah, I guess he does rule. I watched him murder a man. Hmm. <laughs> ah? Uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. <laughs> Looks like you don't have anything to go on, Mr. Wright. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Might as well stop while you're ahead. Uh, I have my camera with me, it was glued to the action, could take my eyes off, still Samurai, he was a bad guy, well, the bad guy stops moving. So strong. I would- I would press him on the camera thing. On the camera thing? Yeah, like, just saying I had my camera with me. Like, maybe he'll say, like, did you have it running? So why didn't you use it? Because he didn't want to! He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Dang it. Yeah. Um... Stop moving? Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, well, cause the seal samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How, how did he do it? With a samurai kick, and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, something like that. He's still being vague about this. He didn't say samurai stab with a spear. Yeah. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? Yeah. Press him harder. Cody. Cody. Get ready to get pressed. <laughs> like your fucking Giles Corey and this is the Salem Witch Trials. Look up that reference, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like a- like a- like juice. Oh, sure. Like juice a, is also like good. tangerine. Something's bothering me. I really have to take a shit. Well. Can I get five minutes? <laughs> Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part? What is the meaning of this? Uh, the witness has stated what he cl saw quite clearly. <laughs> you know as well as I do that he's being vague! Slap. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap! Muff. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow! <laughs> Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, uh, well, er, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? He's using his camera. I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Uh, show evidence. Uh... Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor! Uh... He was fiddling with his camera. Oh. Here's my proof! What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. 
He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah. Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera! He was trying to take a picture! Hey! I don't have a camera! <laughs> Bullseye! What's your problem, Pops? You gotta think for picking on little kids? You know I do! <laughs> pressing, not picking. Love pressing on little kids. <laughs> um. That's where you get the juice. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> A little kid juice. <laughs> Uh, Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody. There was only one reason- <laughs> You'll pay dearly for this. <laughs> there was only one reason. <laughs> Cody, you get over here. Why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. And we'll find out more next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> Awesome, exclamation point. I'll meet you in the little parking lot at 345. Period. See you soon, baby.